Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. A question came up online about, I play my two four-minute machine, Edison, and it slows down when playing. Well, there's a few problems, and I'm going to discuss these problems. When you lower the carriage down, and the half nut is under this spring, and say you're playing and then the machine just stops, there's two problems. One, it's in the new bearing you've put in, or it's in the two four minute changer. So let's talk first about the bearing. When you put new bearings in, these are with machines that don't have an end gate. If you have an end gate, that's a piece that opens up like this on the early Edisons, then they don't have that bearing. It runs freely in here. When you, without an end gate machine like this Triumph, you have the bearing. This works on all Edisons, Triumphs down to standards with the two four minute changers. First, the bearing. You have to build your bearings in this bunting bearing material that has lead in it. And this is for running surfaces. They use this kind of material in machine tools. You cannot use brass. Brass is too gummy and too sticky, and it doesn't oil in on the bearing. Because the bearing runs on this little piece right about there. So this is called bunting bearings? Yeah. And you need to polish this out, put this in your drill. I've talked about that. And you need to shine this piece down with like six or 800 grit sand to get it super smooth. After you've put your bearing in, I go to my local automotive store, O'Reilly, and I get a valve lapping tool that has this little plunger on it. You can, and it sticks there like that. You hear that? I took one. I machined it down. I hook it to my drill. How do you hook it to the drill? I machined the end down, or you can grind it down, just as long as you can get it in your drill. I put the machine into two minutes. I assemble everything. And then you stand here like this. And you it's called running the bearing in. What you're doing is you're lapping the shaft and the bearing together so they run freely. How long do you have to do that? This takes a long time. It could take a minute, it could take 30 minutes. But once you're done, let's say the belt's off, we're in one minute, it should, it should move freely like that. It should move freely like that. I shouldn't have it engaged. But it should go, it shouldn't, when you take your finger and twist, it should do a few revolutions. It shouldn't just go up and stop. That means it's holding up in the bearing. Now, a few things about the two four-minute changers. This is the pulley end, and this is the changer part that moves back and forth like this. Under this screw and this little spring right here is a little nipple thing that pushes down, and it's about right there underneath the spring and there's two little indentions like on the shaft here and that keeps it it clicks in place it holds in place so when you change you'll hear that click and you want to put it in and make sure that it, it's staying in position if it's not staying in position it's because this is the spring right here Here's a screw that holds it in place. It's that little nipple thing, and that goes down. The end of that little piece here could be worn out, and you'll need to replace that piece or machine one. You want to make sure if it doesn't stay in place, then it's going to rattle back into two minutes. You're going to, why is my machine sounding funny? Sounds like the chipmunks. The other thing is the lead screw, which is this piece here, has a pin here. And it has a pin here. When you're in two minute, you want to make sure that the pin is inside the slot of the changer unit. You have this slot right here, and you want to make sure that it's not popping out. And how you do that is you adjust 
the, the pulley side to the bearing. This is the bearing. And you have to kind of make sure that it runs. Because when you go here to two minute, there should be a little gap here with the pin. And when you pull it out, you should, it should be locking into also. The other thing on these is, on your two four minute changer, is you have this little pin right here, and you have a pin here, and you have that shiny pin here, and you can kind of see on camera right there, that one's worn out. And what those do is, you have this little gear, and then there's an oil hole on it right there. You want to make sure you can oil this. You can take a punch and punch this out, brass gear out. It all pulls apart, clean it, and then you can just press this back on in place. Because this gear here runs on that gear. So when you're getting you hear this, that's two minute, and then you get out here, and then the gear catches and drives it into four minutes. The other thing you do is you want to make sure that your back rod, this piece here, all Edison machines have these, is clean and smooth. You want to sand these down. I've talked about cleaning these with a drill. You don't want to have a lead screw like this off an Amberola 30 that's rusted to to death. You, you'll need to change this out. I change these out in stainless steel because it'll never rust again and it has a better running surfaces. You want to make sure that the back rod, this rod is straight. You want to check it like that. It's not bent and that the, when you're set up and the half nut is not engaged to play that this runs smoothly. One other thing You have this piece here that the lead screw fits into, and this little yet L bracket goes in and it hits a groove in the lead screw, and you have this little screw that holds this place in place. Sometimes these wear out also. This has to be tight. And this is what they look like. The bearing here. Bearing? Yeah. The bearing the, here. The, where my finger is right here, okay. this piece here looks like this, and this L bracket fits over and down, and then the screw goes in there. And then the lead screw fits in here. And you wanna kind of oil this a little on the inside, and you wanna make sure that the back of this is smooth, because it runs against the bearing right here. You'll see this little gap? We have about five thousandths of an inch of play. You want to check the, man, the mandrel shaft here that it spins freely. And you want to make sure that the bearing here, this end bearing, it's back in here in the casting. This gear help drives, drives it. That you put this in. And this one is worn out in here. There's a little bit of play. There shouldn't be a lot of play. You can have a little bit, but this is really shot. These are things you need to look at when you're adjusting these. If you're setting the two four minute here with the pins, the adjustment to keep it the drive into two and into four like this, you go to four, you go to two. To get this, it's all about moving the end bearing and the pulley system in and out. You can loosen it here and put it into two and say, you, you wiggle it onto the shaft. So you're, this all slides through here. That one's tight. You adjust this by pushing it in, the pulley one, in and out. for the two pins on the lead screw. So you're gonna move this in or out to adjust this piece here. Then you adjust the, the end bearing. Once you're done, you wanna make sure it spins freely like that. I put a little drop of oil 
between the bearing and the end of the mandrel shaft. It's a little complicated, and that's my tip for the day.